Hello everybody, so in this video we will be looking at uh, another problem on the binary search that is the peak index in a mountain array. So it is a lead code problem. So uh, okay, so it is a lead code problem 852. So what the problem statement states is like it is a very big problem statement. So I'll just reduce it and explain. So the problem statement states that like we are given an array. And the arrays in the form is something like suppose first element is 1 then I have something 4 then 5 then 9 then uh, 11 then again 8 uh, 5 3 2 so it is something like this it will form a, something like a mountain kind of a thing either it can be like this or it can be like completely decreasing or uh, something like this okay so what we have to do is in the end uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so in the end I have to return the index of this element so the element uh, on whose left all the elements are smaller and on whose right all the elements are smaller right so I have to uh, return that element index so how do we approach this problem is uh, we can like linearly traverse right uh, uh, approach is like we can really linearly traverse from here this index and check okay 4 is greater okay i can go okay like i can check in ahead so 1 is smaller than 4 okay i can go here 4 is smaller than 5 i can go here 5 is smaller than 9 i can go here 9 is smaller than 11 i can go here the moment this condition is false like 11 is greater so i'll return this index right but this will take uh, in the worst case uh, o of n time and in the question uh, it is stated like uh, i mean like we have to solve it in o of log n so how do we do that so exactly uh, as it is a binary search playlist so we will use the binary search uh, so this will be my low this will be my high right and we'll calculate the mid so mid will be 4 so in this case mid is 4 so let me just uh, change it a bit so for an example uh, if we say it was not 11 uh, but it was uh, okay let us just take another example that will be much better so 5 11 13 9 4 5 4 3 2 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so this example looks cool so this will be my low and this one is high so the mid will be what will be mid 9 plus 0 by 2 that will be 4 okay I see okay I'm here so for uh, this element to be my answer what should be the condition so it should be greater than this element and it should be greater than this element so I'll have a check like if my ARR of mid that is 9 if my ARR of mid is greater than ARR of mid minus 1 and ARR of mid is also greater than ARR of mid plus 1 right so then I'll just return this mid as this will be my answer but uh, in other condition for example uh, it is greater than this side but uh, it is smaller on the left side so that means uh, I have to my answer lies somewhere here so as you can see from 4 onwards the 9 is bigger but it is smaller here like three for this index and this index it is smaller so i know like my answer will lie somewhere in this section so i'll reduce my search space and my high will come here on mid my high will come on mid right and if else the case then my low will go to that side right so that was the simple enough explanation if you try run it once on your own you will get it so let us just code this Okay, so it will be pretty easy so int n equals to arr dot size and int low will be my 0 and my high will be n minus 1 and I'll take mid okay so while low is less than equals to high okay I have already declared mid mid is equal to high plus low divided by 2 if my ARR of mid is greater than ARR of mid minus 1 and ARR of mid is greater than ARR of mid plus 1 
right if this is the case what i will be doing is uh, i'll just uh, yeah i'll return my mid else if if my arr of mid is greater than arr of mid plus one and at the same time my arr of mid is less than arr of mid minus one so my high will be equals to mid so this else if condition is the one we discussed over here so for like uh, it is checking if 9 is greater yes 9 is greater than 5 but at the same time 9 is less than this 13 so my answer will lie on the left of 9 so i'm just moving my high to the left right and if this is not the case i'll just move my low equals to mid and in the end i'll just return mid and if it is not the case maybe okay so it is granted to be mounted array so let us just submit it so as you can see it is submitted so uh, and the if i discuss the time complexity for this one so as we are dividing the array into half and then reducing our search space search space by uh, so for an example if my array size is n on each iteration i am reducing my it to uh, n by 2 so from first time it will be n then it will go to n by 2 then n by 4 and so on so or n to the power uh, i i would say and i starts from 0 to till the iterations goes on right so it will be a log n so that will be this time complexity and the space complexity will be o of 1 as we are not using any external space we are just using three variables that is low high and middle so thank you for watching this video and i hope sure you do get how to solve this question make sure to hit that subscribe and like button and stay tuned for another videos in the playlist thank you